my understanding is that um, you know prior to the the last revolution, um, there was also similar repression um, and similar difficulty in organizing, um, and yet people still um, still managed to do it. What what kind of um, what kind of approaches were used then to organize, and um, do you have any thoughts on um, how to um, implement um, increased organization, uh, organizational strategies at this point in time, despite the repression? Yeah, first of all, yeah, the point that you mentioned about the last revolution, mm. the last revolution, the situation was very different in terms that the left on that revolution mm -hmm. that we call it traditional left okay. and we think was not left in true sense of the word okay. had nothing to do with the workers movement or socialist movement but what it was called was called left at that time uh, uh, was part of the problem actually not the solution huh. and the, the revolution was uh, 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 defeated by Islamic forces because uh, we didn't have a true revolutionary left in Iran. Uh -huh. but now it's very different. Now the situation is totally different. The whole society uh, is very, it's much more uh, uh, artic uh, articulate and much more aware of what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, and the left, uh, 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 leftist and uh, leftist slogans, poli policies and, and, uh, and expectation of, of the life of freedom, the way that left defines, for example, freedom. It starts from even the previous revolution. We have councils everywhere. Something like Soviets in Russia, we had everywhere in the uh, in the, uh, the 57 revolution. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, the same way, people, the way that think about the freedom, about the free and open society is very different from what the Western democracy defines of those terms. Sure. So. Uh, so the situation is very different now. But as far as that question is, con uh, you, you mentioned is, is concerned that how you can, how, what mm -hmm. is our plan, or how we want to yes. organize people around uh, our, uh, our, our policies. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in our last Congress, we had a resolution that calling for making the, the, the revolution uh, in, in a way, the, 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 the term that we use was more articulate. I mean, more organized with the direct and, and very, very uh, uh, declared and, and uh, very uh, specific uh, uh, slogans and goals and, and, and uh, uh, policies. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, ta we think that we should help that activists in the workers' movement, especially, mm -hmm. In, in women's movement and the students' movement uh, come out with their own NGOs, with their own committees, with their own organization. We had many of them already. Okay. For example, this 1st of May, mm -hmm. 10, 10 workers' organizations had a, a, a resolution, yes. declared a resolution with, with the signature of 10 workers' organizations mm -hmm. with a very uh, 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 progressive demands, mm -hmm. not only for the workers, but for the whole different parts of society. Sure. Uh, the same thing happened last 1st of May, two months before that recent revolution begins. And the same thing, even more forceful, uh, stronger happened again this 1st of May. Mm -hmm. that's, our, uh, that's what we want to, to, to build on okay. and make it a general movement in, in women's uh, movement as well, in students' movement, everywhere, between teachers uh, 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 and, and every part of society have their own activists with their own demands, with their own organizations, with their own call to, to the different parts of the society, and in different occasions they come together, mm -hmm. have their own common resolutions, and call for, for example, different uh, type of action, and especially now we can talk about general strike. Yes. So I think in Iran, general strike wouldn't happen without those activists, okay. without those NGOs, without those uh, uh, organizations or, 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 or people to get together in the neighborhoods even, mm -hmm. in, the, in, in, in the workshops, in, in factories, in, in universities, yeah. in hospitals, in everywhere. Yeah. 
without some people come forward, uh, somehow organize themselves. It, it doesn't have to be a very big organization, just some committees, some, some uh, uh, few people who can start the movement. They come out, uh, because now we, we, with, uh, with that technology, very easily they can introduce themselves to the society, mm -hmm. put forward their demands, they call for this or that action. That sort of thing should happen, I think. Okay. And that's, that's the thing which is happening now. We ought to just reinforce that, mm -hmm. make it bigger, more successful, and, and more powerful. That's, that's our policy. And I think that policy would, would make the movement much stronger and also the situation of our part in the society uh, it, it, it is, uh, 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 I mean, it's a policy that helps both our, uh, the movement in Iran mm -hmm. and our party to get together and, and uh, uh, all together have a much more stronger uh, revolution against the Islamic Republic. Mm -hmm.